In this part of the series, we're going to cover assembling the chassis, and then it also includes the leaf spring mounts. Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Welcome back to the next part of my GMA Sawback Sport build. In this part of the series, we're going to cover assembling the chassis, and then it also includes the leaf spring mounts. For step 20, you'll need the following parts. You'll need these parts off of the axle uh, parts tree. You'll need these M3 by 16 screws, these M3 by 12 screws, and these M3 lock nuts. And here are the Team K and K equivalents. Now we're going to be uh, mounting the front leaf spring assembly for the uh, step 20. And for that you'll need to mount it in the front part of the chassis rail. And the front part is this curved part right here. So we'll be doing the both, both sides, the left and the right. the 3 by 12 My hands are freezing right now, so it's kind of hard. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this screw to hold it in place first. While I get this other side in. I can just feel my fingers. There we go. Get that lock into place. All right. Now I'm gonna remove this one and get the other side in. You want that spacer in between the frame rail and this uh, spring mount. And you also want that spacer on the inside as well. Alright, so you can see here we've got one side completed and we're ready to move on to the other side.
And that completes step 20, the front leaf shackles. For step 21, or the rear leaf spring mount assembly, you'll need these following parts. Uh, just like the first part, the two 3x12s, the four 3x16s, and the M3 lock nuts. And uh, once again, here are the Team K and K equivalents. And that completes step 21, the rear leaf spring mount assembly or rear leaf spring shackles. For step 22, you'll need these following parts. You'll need four M3x16s and M3 lock nuts. Here are the Team K and K equivalents.
And that completes step 22. For step 23, you'll need these following parts. You'll need four M3 by six screws and four M3 by eight screws, as well as eight M3 nuts. Now here are the team K and K counterparts, and we shall begin. And that completes step 23. For step 24, you'll need the following. You'll need 12, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10, yep, uh, 12 M3 nuts. You also need uh, 8 M3 by 6 screws and 4 M3 by 8 screws. And on this side, we've got the Team K and K equivalents.
and that completes step 24. For step 25, you'll need these following parts. You'll need these screws, and here are the Team K and K equivalents. You've got eight M3 lock nuts here, four M3 flange nuts, and 12 M3x8s. So I made a mistake here. Uh, you actually want to put this front one on this slotted hole right here instead of this hole. So you got to move this front one back one hole. And that completes step 25. For step 26, you'll need these following parts. You'll need four 3x16 screws, four M3 nuts, and these uh, bushings from the axle parts tree. And here are the Team K and K equivalents for these screws. Thank you. 
And that completes step 26. For step 27, you'll need these following parts, 4 M3 by 16s, 4 M3 lock nuts, and these uh, bushings off of the axle tree. Here are the Team K and K, here are the Team K and K equivalents. And that completes step 27. For step 28, you'll just need these two screw pins for the drive shafts. And that completes step 28. That also completes this part of the build series, the chassis frame, as well as mounting the front and rear axles. I hope you enjoyed this part of the Speedmate Solve that Sport build series. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for the next part of my Speedmate Solve that Sport build series. Thanks for watching.